what's up guys so this is just a short video log um i may not i don't even know if i'm gonna end up posting it if i'm being perfectly honest but i'm gonna cut it all together and see how it goes i'm out here with the crappinox today yeah another time the crappinox had to come in the garage to get something done so 2017 like literally almost to the day the manifold the exhaust manifold in the equinox cracked i mean like split in half separated had to get a new one so i fired it up the other day and heard that telltale blah, 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 blah. i'm like there's no way that thing cracked again it's a it's a common problem with these there's a lot of common problems with the equinox i really really don't like this car um it, it has i bought it in 2016 it has depreciated so fast it's just unreal so that's what we're doing today. We're gonna to put an exhaust manifold in the Equinox, so stay tuned. I might shoot some footage as I go. Now that this thing's out, look at that. Look at that big old crack. It's all the way around, and look how just covered in oil this thing is. Just, gotta hate this car, I hope it breaks. Damn, it didn't. What a pain. This is the third time I've done this, and the header that came in this time, the manifold, look at this thing. Again, I apologize for the fan. Look at this. This is the quality control. I'm not going to post where this came from, because this is the third one that I've ordered from them, and the other two have been immaculate upon arrival. Now, granted, the previous two have cracked, but so did the factory one, and they all crack in the same location. I think part of the reason, and I, I'm no expert, but I think part of the reason might be the design, whereas these aren't connected. That's not, that's not cracked. That's design. That's how they're built. And you see how this one, let me set it on the boat here. If you can tell, the one in the middle is way more spread apart than the rest because of the crack. So my theory is that the crack forms because for whatever reason they did GM and the replacement companies don't cast it um, solid there. So I think the vibration and heat and everything forms that crack, it spreads apart, you know, blah, or vice versa, however it goes, but <sighs> yep another one down and uh it's covered in oil because this thing burns oil like a sieve now you can tell just by looking there is oil in other places but they're not active leaks it's an old leak i fixed when i did the uh timing and i just didn't uh parts washer the cover or pressure wash or any of that i just i was so over it i just put it back together oh it burns oil like crazy and it was coming up out of that crack and that's why everything's covered in oil and it's gonna to continue to burn oil, but at least now it'll stay inside the exhaust system, so you can get it back together. All right, y'all. I did a pretty shitty job of documenting the actual repair. I had the best of intentions when I started out, but man, it was so cramped in there and so hot and so messy, and uh, I was just so over it. I was so aggravated um, that it didn't really run a lot of film. There's videos out there that will show you how to do it, so I apologize if, you know, you were looking for more of a how-to. This is more of just a, a vlog. This is just me kind of ranting. It was a crummy, long, hot day, and Kira wanted to go hiking, and we didn't get to that. Hopefully, we're going to get to do that tomorrow. So, I don't know, guys. I'm going to finish off what's left of this one and probably grab another one because it's been that kind of day. I'll catch y'all tomorrow. Well, we hoped you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more great videos from the Penguin Outdoors YouTube channel, don't forget to click subscribe. And while you're at it, hit that little bell so you get notified when new content is available. Please leave us a comment down below and let us know what you thought. And don't forget to hit that like button. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.